Welcome to another video from Ash Eat World. I'm here today at the Gilles uh, Seafood Restaurant, which is in the uh, Royal Meridian uh, Beach Resort and Spa. So it's a take on an English um, fish restaurant. So if you're new to my videos, this is Ash Eat World and I just review uh, restaurants and uh, food wherever I go in the world. So just sit and enjoy and uh, if you like the look of the place then maybe you'd like to try it but there's quite a, a fish, obviously fish theme here in this restaurant. So this is the kitchen. I'm trying to smile but you can't tell. Me too. Hi guys, thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at this fish here, fresh fish here. This is the fish market here. Mm. Good advice there. Got a chef here showing me the fish. This is a parrot fish. This is a parrot fish, yeah, local to the Gulf. You see, okay. almost has like a beak. Yeah. Very firm flesh. Um, slightly bitter because of the okay. warmer water here yeah. in Dubai. Really nice fish. Okay. Uh, red mullet we have. Again, yeah. local here in the Gulf comes out of Oman through Jera, which is on the east coast. Yeah, yeah. We fish from the east coast. Okay. We then have sea bream, which is imported from Kefalonia, okay. a small island just out of Greece. Okay. Uh, my mother lives there, really? so the connection wow. there to bring it here is Fantastic. through that. We have up here in this corner, is called a Fascar bream. So again, it's local here to the Gulf from the east coast. Very okay. pretty looking fish. Yeah. Uh, the skin is a little bit tough. So okay. we tend to take the skin off before we put it in the pan or on the grill. Okay. Uh, medium flake, really nice texture, easy to eat. Okay. Great fish, great fish. And then we have our sea bass. Yes. Which again comes from Greece, from the Mediterranean. Beautiful. Um, beautiful fish. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, Thank beautiful you. Fish. That's amazing. Fish and have. then you have lobster. This is, yeah. yeah, so this is a local Omani lobster. Omani out lobster. Of Omar. Yeah. Um, so there's no claws on it. And yeah. it's got a natural saltiness. So okay. we don't add any seasoning when we cook it. Okay. Otherwise it will become too salty. Okay. It's just from the Indian Ocean. It has that natural saltiness Brilliant. in the water. Caribbean lobster, we import these in. These are very meaty. So it's like full meat inside. Oh, wow. So this one we normally cook in like the thermidor sauce or a marinade sauce okay. just to keep that tenderness. Okay. Otherwise it can get a little bit tough. Okay, brilliant. Little white bait. White bait, yes. Yeah, we just deep fry it in the flour. You did that as like a starter? Yeah, 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 yeah. starter. Just uh, something some to crunch on. Tartar sauce. Yeah, or yeah, 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 that's it, tartar sauce. Brilliant. On the side. This oh, one, scallops, scallops. Yeah. yeah, grilled or pan fried, just seared. Brilliant. Fantastic. And then, Tiger prawns there. Tiger prawns, yeah. yeah. White prawns, really nice. Oh, brilliant. These are grilled. Listen, thanks for that. Yes, thank welcome. you very thank much. You. Thank thanks. you. As well as the extensive fish market, the fresh fish that the chef just explained here, this is the menu. And the chef uh, explained to me today that in the UK it's National Fish and Chip Day, so they're doing a promotion with uh, some nice cod. So white cod in beer batter and uh, fries or the English fish and chips, if you like. Uh, so we may even just go for that because it's uh, going to be a special. And then I'll just grab a piece, chef. Yeah? So here we have the uh, freshly deep fried white bait as a starter, uh, just to nibble on while we wait for our food and look at the menu. So. Got some lovely tartar sauce here. This delicious deep fried white bait. It's absolutely juicing. Delicious here at Gills. Beautiful. Just look at these white baits. Absolutely delicious. There's a nibbler. Mm. Beautiful. This is a lobster biscuit. So this is what, sorry? Lobster biscuit. This is a lobster. Oh, okay. Thank you. Until you started. Perfect, thank you. So that was the fresh lobster beast there. And uh, I've gone for the traditional 
because it's British uh, National Fish and Chips Day, I'm going for the typical uh, English starter of uh, prawn cocktail with the uh, rosemary sauce. with a, a really nice ambiance and a nice atmosphere. This is so laid back here in uh, Jill's uh, seafood restaurant. Everyone's uh, doing their thing, working on what they do. Um, we've had some fabulous deep fried white bait to start with and some beautiful starters. I had the prawn cocktail and my wife, she had the, uh, the lobster bisque and uh, uh, we, we've chose the cod and the chef actually carved the cod in front of me to take it away to weigh so that it, it's by the weight and then we chose the beer batter to have it cooked in on this uh, national fish and chip day so we're looking forward to this. So this looks like our fish and chips coming over now, our cod. Beer batter, the cod, fish and chips, with the mashed peas and the tartar sauce on the side as well. Oh look at that, show the cod look. Look at that. Oh, this is beer battered cod with uh, chips and mushy peas. And here's the man's portion. Oh, Fish so. and chips, beer batter. Oh, look at this. steak rice and the tata sauce and mashed peas. Brilliant. So, look at this, guys. Malted vinegar and ketchup mayo and salt pepper. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yep. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. So we have the sarsen's vinegar, yeah? Yeah, malted vinegar. Malted vinegar. Oh, yes. Has to go with the fish and chips. Fish and chips. Might need some more of that if that's yeah, okay. Thank you. Wow. What an absolute feast. Just look at this pure white cod in beer batter. Absolutely delicious. This is a rare treat for me coming from the UK. Thank you. Just look at the texture of this beautiful cod. And the beer batter prepared by the chef. Absolutely delicious. What a beautiful fish cod is. So here the last uh, portion of our meal here at Jill's, we're going into the desserts. This is uh, rhubarb crumble. With some custard. And here we have sticky toffee pudding uh, with toffee sauce, popcorn and vanilla ice cream. Very nice desserts here. Um, I would just say that uh, if you're an expat in, uh, you, in uh, Dubai from uh, UK or England, this is quite a good place to come if you want uh, typical British food. So we've had fish and chips with mushy peas and now we're having rhubarb crumble. So it's really typically British. It's a British themed seafood restaurant here at Jill's. A really nice uh, venue, nice food, lovely service, nice chef, great food. So we've had a really nice uh, meal here at Jill's. Um, it's classed as a, a British seafood restaurant and I suppose, yes, it really is a British seafood restaurant. Classics like prawn cocktail, white bait, um, fish and chips with mushy peas. So we've had a lovely evening here at Jill's restaurant. Um, it's termed as a British seafood restaurant and it really is British if you like. Uh, so if you're a British expat living in Dubai, you would really enjoy the food here. It's all typical. We had beer battered uh, cod uh, with mushy peas and chips and uh, even down to the desserts where they had rhubarb crumble. Um, it's not very often in Dubai that you have a really nice crumble. Um, it's just not the same, but here in uh, Gilles, it's a really nice uh, uh, rhubarb crumble. So we've enjoyed ourselves here tonight. So if you're a British expat in Dubai, want British food, it's, try this place, Gilles. It's uh, a seafood restaurant, beautiful. We had a lovely cod tonight. Um, so this is uh, Ash Eat World. Um, if you like my channel and you like my YouTube videos, that's all I do. I just uh, review and review food here in wherever I am in the world. So 
please subscribe, it's always appreciated. We've had a lovely uh, evening here in Geo's Seafood Restaurant in uh, Le Meridian, Royal Meridian uh, Beach Resort Hotel.